All right, here's where we're gonna put the chicken house. It is pretty, pretty level, won't take very much to get this level. Also, I have electricity right here. So what we're gonna do is cut a hole in the wall here and put a conduit down and across and run electricity out to the chicken house right here. And that way we'll be able to have a, a, a heat lamp in the, in the uh, winter time. All right, this is the chicken coop and little, little, it's got a little run with it. So this is the chicken coop and run, uh, all laid out on the driveway. And now we're going to uh, assemble it. Here is the uh, directions and a little package of screws. We're like one and without you I'm sinking. I'm always shining next to you. Oh, I got you, there's no reason to. Chasing pavement. We're going to put the uh, lid on it. All right, we got the main part of the chicken house built yesterday and we went to Trasher Supply and come up with these cool little solar lamps we're gonna put up here. We really know where to put them. Uh, so what we end up doing is, is cutting a piece of cedar. Uh, we, this is some more of that cedar that's left over from a remodel and we cut it to match here. And then we'll put the lights here. We're gonna put two lights on here. These are not gonna be like super bright, but they'll do a, a good enough job to uh, come out here in the evenings. All right, we got these done. Uh, it looks pretty good. Tanya's gonna probably put a little sign up here that says something about chickens. I know, I know her. 
But uh, we'll come out tonight and shoot a little, a little clip of this for you guys to see what it looks like. All right, there's an electric box uh, right here on the inside. So we're gonna cut a hole right here and put conduit down uh, to, the, to the ground here and run an electric wire across here to this side of the chicken house. We're gonna dig a trench and then we'll come up with conduit to probably about right in here. And we'll put an electric box probably inside this because this opens up and we'll be able to plug in a heat lamp inside here for the colder winter days. All right, for simplicity purpose, we just put a little screwdriver up here in the window and that we know this is the cavity that goes down. Uh, I wanna bury the electric line about 12 to 14 inches up under the ground. So we're gonna come down here and leave about 12 to 14 inches above so that we know we have enough conduit to go underground. So right there is pretty much what we're gonna do. There's our fancy mark. All right, we're gonna use our, our hole saw. There's our three quarter inch hole saw. Now this is definitely not rocket science by any means. Yeah, you more. All right, we're gonna put this in here and run the wire through, and then we'll mount this and go down into the uh, ground. Uh, this whole uh, detached garage is on a ground fault circuit, so we're protected out here. Uh, so this will go down and go across to the chicken house. So we'll start digging. Not very often you guys see me doing manual labor, so Tanya decided it was important to record this. Gotta have proof. box in here. It's not really the right way, but I'm gluing it in and I'm going to screw it in with these screws. What I did is I, I don't condone this by the way. This is probably not up to cold, but it's going to be safe. That's all that really matters. So I've got some really short screws that should not go through the that little thin wall. And I drilled some holes in the back. Things that I do for you. <laughs> you like them chickens too. Just so I like the eggs. And he likes the chickens too. He likes he likes to watch them too. I like the eggs. And he likes to feed them too. Put food in his hands. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's the soft side. <laughs> uh, I don't got no soft side. I don't know if the camera even sees anything. Yeah, it does. All right. Good. And here are the finished touches. Really, Gizmo? Get out of there. All right. Non-traditional way of mounting it, but because this wall is so thin, I just drilled two holes in the bottom of this box and then drilled a three quarter inch hole so that, and then put glue around it. And I, I put the box over the collar that comes through the wall. So that'll be a waterproof connection. It's not gonna be water in here anyway, but still I just want to be better than not. Like I said, this line is coming off of the shop and the shop has got ground fault uh, circuit breakers. All right, we've got the outside electricity uh, put in. I think it's gonna be pretty good. This wire here comes up out of the ground, goes in through this box. This is all waterproof. And then it comes down 
goes underground with with an underground wire and then comes back up and goes through the wall here into the shop where it'll tie into our electric inside the shop what we're doing now is we are putting the uh, a cross brace across the top because we want to hang the heat lamp in there wait we got a we got a we got a gizmo dog in here he wants to be a chicken dog. Hey, chicken dog. Gimo. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Come on, get up. Come on. That's not for you. I think I got it just a hair long. No, I don't. All right, we're going to put this Tractor Supply Premium Pine Shavings in the bottom of the uh, chicken coop in here where, where Gizmo and Tanya are working. And we're also going to put it in the uh, bottom of the, the building itself in here. Uh, if you guys think of something different or you think this is a bad idea, let me know. When I was a kid, we just run our chickens pretty much wild. So I don't, uh, this is the pine thing is new to me, but I don't want it to be a big mucky mess. I am recording Tanya. She's gonna flake this stuff out here. Now we didn't use cedar. I've read several things on cedar that somehow it, there's some bacteria in cedar uh, chips that will cause disease in your chickens. So we kinda, we, we went ahead and went with the pine, talked to a few people and a lot of people are using pine chips. Uh, so we'll get the pine down first and then we'll probably just throw some hay in there and let them eat the eat the hay and stuff. I'm gonna put a chicken uh, run out here in the future as the chickens get a little bit bigger, probably, you know, a couple more months. And we're gonna go all the way down to pretty much this gate right here. And we're gonna leave enough room on either side of the chicken run to be able uh, to mow around it. Here's your new house. What you got there? Got my baby chickens. Well, they're not babies anymore, they're juniors now. All right, let's take a look at them. The last time we seen a picture of them. Wow, they are gotten big. All right. All right. The... Let go of the chickens. Come on. Come on. Will you hand me some uh, food? Come on. Well, we're almost done. Uh, we've got a couple of pieces of tin on either side, uh, giving some shelter from the evening sun and the morning sun, but there's still the back still open, so they still get a, a, a good breezeway. Um, Tanya's already started doing a little decoration there, as you can see on the ground. Got the two little lamps up. We'll make sure you get some uh, a little night picture of that. Those actually, we watched them last night, and I forgot to take a picture of them, but they actually put out a lot of light. So that's a pretty neat little thing. Well, we got the chicken house done. I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, some brick and some more uh, uh, hardware cloth around the bottom to make sure no animals can dig into it. Don't really think it's gonna be a big issue with the dogs being out here. They have free run in the backyard. But hey, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching our channel. Uh, if you like what we do, hit that thumbs up. And if you really like what we do, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. That little bell icon will let you know when we put something out new. God bless and have a great day.
What makes something valuable? It has to get the job done. It has to be there when you need it. It doesn't break the bank. It performs better than others. TYM Tractor. Valuable.